What time do you hang on one second? All right, we are about two minutes in, so I'm going to pause to cold call on a couple of people. Just share out a direction, just one direction that you have scripted so far. I'm just going to go follow some order on my screen. So, um, Natalie, could you share a direction with us? Um, you're going to pull up your exit ticket on our Thursday 416 lesson. You're going to have five minutes to complete this independently. And you may begin. Cool. Great. Uh, Cece? In your book. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to open up and then start your problem set. Awesome. Donna? Am I unmuted? You are. Oh, no. muted. Okay, great. Um, so I'm going to write a problem on the board and I want you to use your pencil and paper, write down what I've written and fill in the blanks. Don't forget to draw a picture to help you think through it. Great. All right, you have about eight more minutes of work time. There's a candle at the bottom to show you how much time you have left. Uh, keep on working, thanks. Just a reminder during this work time that if you haven't already done so, mute yourself.
All right, as you'll see, we have two minutes left on the candle burning at the bottom. Right now, you might be generating more directions or you might be thinking about parts in your lesson where you thought, you know, I made some assumptions and I didn't write a direction, but it would be more effective if there was a direction here. You might feel like, well, I've written a whole lot of directions. Let me just start putting it into my PowerPoint slides for Monday. All right, folks, if you can get yourself to the end of that thought, to the end of that direction, thank you so much for taking that time to script out the directions. Things like that can feel like a really menial task, but it has a big impact on your students and your students' learning. So I just appreciate you taking time to really think and script directions. I'm gonna send you guys off to breakout rooms where you'll be with one other person. You and your person will have 60 seconds together. I'm gonna to ask that each person share one direction and the other person gives them a thumbs up if they're meeting all of their criteria. If it's less than uh, 15 seconds, if it feels like the follow-up questions will be eliminated, and if it feels crystal clear, feel free to offer feedback. If not, again, you'll have 60 seconds. Each person should share one direction. Any questions before we go? All right. Think I sent you? Nope, I didn't. There we go. Miss Easterling? Miss Easterling? Oh, okay, great. Do you need me in breakout room nine? Am I an extra? You're an extra, but it was where I sent Sister Gina, so I didn't know if you wanted to. It's Sister Gina and Donna. Okay, is what it is. Um, are my um, can you are the directions on my side um, clear enough? I just would wouldn't. It, I wanted some uh, somebody else to put their eyes on it to see if it makes sense. I'm not sure which slide you're talking about um it's towards the end of my my present uh my slides next steps just tell me which what number that one there the one your cursor's on practice yep yep yeah i think it's fine okay okay cool all right, I'm gonna bring everybody back. Awesome. 
Thanks, Betsy. Oh, no, it says they're closing in one minute. So I should have just started to close it right away. Oh, OK. You can call that out Yep. or not. Me and Twee were the first ones back. Nice. Nice. Welcome back. Welcome back. Jojo, I like your sweatshirt. Thanks, Steve. I can tell you where I got it from if you want the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you got a guy? Yeah, you know, I got a guy. You know, you know he, uh, he lives near... Not he lives, but he works around where I work. So he normally just goes around selling hoodies and t-shirts. I love yeah. that guy. <laughs> hoodies, sweatshirts, uh, bootleg uh, DVDs. The, the works. He even has a website. I can give you the link, but you know, it's kind of incognito, so. I like that. <laughs> All right, folks. Thank you so much for doing that share. Hope you got some time to, to really work with those directions. Really just spitting out the words can be really helpful. So feel free to, from time to time, even though we're not in a building all together, to find a peer um, throughout the week if you feel like there's a part of your lesson that's feeling sticky and you just wanna practice those directions. Um, and I am gonna move things over to Steve and we're gonna talk about some things that um, can raise student engagement. So we've talked about um, spending some time on directions that we already know that we're going to give. There are directions we give every day, but it just can be hard to tighten up. So we created space and time for you to tighten up those directions. Now we're going to look at adding some, um, some pieces of um, kind of new directions that you can give um, that will increase student engagement in your classrooms. Steve? Um, Betsy, I'm sorry, guys. You're still in control of the screen, right? Yep. There we go. All right. So um, a lot of um, part of part of what um, we heard, and it's because of you know um, because of how strong um, so many of you have gotten around giving directions. You started getting into some of this, and I think this also taps into the piece where um, where there's some things that people have forgotten that they did in the classroom. Um, but I think especially in this in in this um, section, we want to just get some practice and some some things that um, we haven't um, we haven't seen every and we want to make sure that we do see. So, um, so Betsy, next slide. All right. Can I get um, can I get uh, some different ways that we can raise student engagement on Zoom calls? Breakout rooms. Thanks, Natalie. Um, about a five minute grace period to. Uh, have a conversation with your students to get them engaged in to talking and then we can move right into the lesson. Great. Thanks. I appreciate that. Thank you. So I have some work. Mm, sorry. Sorry. I can't see everybody. Sorry. Um, so I have been working really well for me is repeating my directions in the chat, especially for stop and jots and just like narrating that but then it's also a really great way for students who like might not always feel comfortable sharing in the regular classroom to be more confident in sharing because you can kind of like give them that tap on the shoulder be like hey that's really great i'm gonna have you share out great i was thanks, gonna say Michelle. the same thing oh, thanks natalie um i do that thing where everybody has to participate so it's like Look at the options. Think about your answer, one, two, three, or four on your fingers. Put it in your fist, shake it, roll it. So you get your whole class participation and check for understanding. You're not, you're not, they're not talking out loud. Thanks, Twee. I appreciate that. Um, so, I'm oh, sorry, go ahead, Amy. No, it's fine. <laughs> no, it's all you. Just like ways they can participate participate with the mute button on, so that you don't worry about like mute unmute uh, mute unmute. It's like a lot of like finger like one two three four like thumbs up thumbs down kind of stuff. Great, 
Thanks, and thanks for everybody for sharing. I just want to—I uh, just want to take uh, 15 seconds right now. I want everybody to think, um, and when you're done, I want you to hold your thumb up. How did? Um, how was it different when Betsy was saying, "Yeah, um, take 30 seconds to get this down. I'm going to cold call on people," versus me just saying, "Hey, can I get somebody to share?" So again. I want you to think in your mind, um, compare the feeling between when Betsy was saying you have 30 seconds to get down answers, I'm gonna cold call on you, versus me saying to you, can I get someone to share? All right, 15 seconds, thumbs up when you, when you have an answer in your head, and go. Can I teach our keys to All right, thanks. I have Amy and Cece. I have Darrell and Twee and Amy. Um, can I get um, can I get Amy? Um, can you share what was different? Um, when you know you know you're gonna get cold called instead of like a participant, you have a one in whatever chance of getting called. So you wanna have something definitely prepared where if it's like, oh, well, I'm not planning on volunteering, so I can just kind of not. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Amy. Um, can I have, um, can I have uh, Jojo share? Um, I agree with Amy basically to piggyback off of her. I think it's better to cold call, especially for students who don't participate as much anyway. It gives them a chance to have to actually think through the problems, but also um, to stay more focused and on task. It kind of forces them to actually pay attention to what you're doing. And it also gives them an opportunity if they had the right answer, but maybe they're just not confident in themselves. Yeah. It shows that when you call, call on them or at least let them know, hey, I'm gonna call on you to answer this question. So are you okay with that? Like you're noticing them and that's all these kids want is just to be noticed. Amen. And um, I couldn't have paid you to have made a better um, segue into the next thing I wanna just touch on. There is something that is different. I mean, you um, can pay me. I can pay you um, and you deserve it. I'm gonna pay you in prayers. Your place in heaven will be higher. Um, <laughs> But the, I, I think one of the things is, is like, you know, when our kids come into our building, they get, they get dozens of chances to get reaffirmed and acknowledged, um, you know, in the hallway, in the cafeteria, when they come in the door in the morning, um, you know, when, when they, when they go see Miss McGuire's group, there, there are just so many opportunities for kids to be seen and acknowledged. And the reality is, is in this new, um, in this new uh, reality or a current temporary reality, when they are in the Zoom with you, like there are only but so many chances. Um, and so we really need, this is an area where we really need to ramp up our interactions with our kids and make sure we're getting to everyone, especially the kids who might not volunteer because you know, if they're not called on over the course of two, three classes, they're not getting any acknowledgement. The same way, like maybe they weren't acknowledged in um, in class, but then they went into the hallway and they saw Mr. Eichler who gave them a high five. So just something to be thinking about as we're going through this. Um, Betsy, can we um, hop into the next slide, please? Okay. So our objective today is that teachers be able to raise student engagement through the use of everybody writes and everybody thinks followed by cold calls. And something that's awesome is that during, um, you know, during the first section, a lot of you were already, were already doing this. Um, so Betsy, next slide. All right. Um, one more, please. All right, so we're going to go back into the directions that you just worked on and um, and this is you're going to get a chance to practice um, and we want you to identify three places in, in those directions or lessons um, where you can ask questions that all students can answer individually using a stop and jot everybody writes or everybody thinks. Um, next slide Betsy. Thanks. Um, and what they should be doing is using the criteria that, that was introduced by Betsy earlier in our PD. The directions should have time, task, and materials. Um, 
typically it's time task material and sound and there are ways of engaging in that but um, given sort of the realities here we're just going to really focus in today on time task and materials and that you're utilizing a timer all right um, and so those so those are the criteria that we're going to be using in the practice next slide all right and so i'm going to give you two um two exemplars one for an and everybody writes and again we want to make sure it has time task materials and timer so questions will include time you will have 30 seconds task to write down two different ways you could solve this problem materials in your copy book and then use your timer for 30 seconds so again it has all three um, pieces of the criteria in the directions um, next one all right and this is this is one i pulled um, right out of a pre-k lesson um, that that uh, Dara taught. Um, questions will include time. You'll have 30 seconds task to count the number of cookies, materials on your sheet, and again, using a timer. Um, so again, it's just you're making sure that it hits everything, that you're, you're being super clear. So on the next slide. Um, so again, um, here you have the criteria and the two exemplars that I just, that I just conveyed, much like many of you do in your lessons. And then um, I'm going to give you two minutes um, just to go back in and make sure that you have at least three directions that have time, task, and materials. So next time you go out into your breakout room, we're going to do a little bit different practice, but make sure you have at least three. You get through three, keep going, but you're going to need at least three. All right, so I'm going to model doing the things I just said, which is you will have two minutes to, um, I, to complete. Um, at least three questions that have time, task, and materials, and you're going to write them down um, on your paper. Two minutes, um, actually, before I do that. Any questions? Great. All right, I'm setting my timer. Two minutes and go. All right, I see Amy getting started right away. I see Kalia's gotten started right away. Uh, looks like Travis has gotten right on it. Um, all right, just looking around, it looks like I have 100% um, who've gotten started. You have a little over a minute and a half. Thank you for working so hard. about 45 more seconds really push to make sure you have at least three that you can use in your practice if you already have three just keep rolling All right, 10 more seconds and start wrapping up the one that you are currently working on. All right, and that's time. Thank you everybody for working so hard. Um, Betsy, can you move to the next slide, please? All right. Your feedback, um, remember at Maliki, feedback is caring enough to give someone information that they can use to grow. So, um, so especially in the last practice, if you just felt yourself just giving the thumbs up, even if you weren't quite sure, please do push um, to give each other feedback and ground your feedback in the criteria. Did they, did they use time task material and did they use a timer? As you're gonna see in the practice directions, we're gonna ask everybody to 
practice setting a timer. Um, whatever it, that is that you use, um, um, I would imagine most of you, that's your phone. The values that we're using during this time is continually improving in teamwork, um, caring about one another and pushing each other. Next slide, please. All right, so in this partner A is going to give just one direction um, using time, task, and material, and then they're going to set a 30 second timer. During that 30 second timer, the listener is going to use that time to write feedback using the criteria. Um, and then after the 30 seconds are up, and um, the listener is going to, listener or listeners are going to provide feedback to person A what is already strong, what can be tightened. Ground your feedback in the criteria, and you're going to take um, one minute to do that. If it goes if it goes quicker, um, and you've been able to already give that, feel free to then move on to partner B for just one direction, and then make your way back to partner A for another direction and repeat. Um, the goal is that everybody gets a chance to go through at least those three directions and and get um, and get feedback on them. If we run out of time, that's um, that's fine, but do push yourself to get to as many as you can. Um, any questions around the directions? All right. Um, partner A should be whoever didn't whoever did not go first last time. Whoever went second last time, you're going to go first this time. That is going to be partner A. Betsy's going to send you back out into your breakout rooms. And we will see you back here in five minutes. Betsy, can you copy those directions into the chat? Yeah. All right, how are we doing? Uh, good, hang on, let me just copy this over. Yeah, please, thank you. Great. Thanks. Mm -hmm. How are we doing, Bill? Okay. All right. Um, I did not set a timer. I, uh, what time? I did. What's that, that? You did? Yeah, we have about four minutes left. Okay. Does that sound like the right amount of time? I think so, because I think we said PD is one thirty to two forty-five, right? Yeah. Yeah. So when we so when we come back, um, we should debrief. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, what was helpful? What would have been more helpful? Yep. Okay. Um, and then any shout outs and then, um, you'll pull out, you'll send everybody the, um, the, the lesson plan doc. Yep. And I did create a slide if you, if you take a look. Okay. Hang on one second. Yeah. Take your time. And, mm. Uh, here they come. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Um, I guess everybody, everybody, everybody got, everybody got pulled back. We we're just prior to come back. It says at the end, it's sort of like whiplash, like you're in the midst of something, and boom, you're back. Um, great. Um, does, uh, is there anyone who wants to shout out their uh, their partner for the uh, for the strong work that they did? Um, I'll shout out Tree because she was saying how um, she was using a direction that she's been using since the start of the school year with her students when they have morning meeting. And so she's been incorporating that into her lessons. And because the students are already familiar with
Great. Thank you. Additional time and she can focus on the bulk of the lesson rather than constantly redirecting. Fantastic. Thank you for sharing, uh, Jojo. Um, is there one other person who wants to shout out their, their partner? Shout out to um, Travis. Um, his directions were for specifically like a I do type of like the direct teach of it. And it was the directions were very clear of like, I'm doing this right now. You're going to watch so that when we do it together, you understand what's going on. Great. Thanks, Natalie. Um, I'd love to debrief uh, today's PD. What was what was helpful about today? Um, what resonated with you? Um, and, and or um, what would be more helpful? All right, I'm going to pause it there. Um, I want to point out it would have um, would have been more effective if I had said everybody take 30 seconds and tell me what um, um, what would have been what was helpful and what would have been better and then cold called on you. But um, uh, I don't want to belabor the point right now. Um, is there um, so next steps is that during um, during coaching. Um, you know, after we've observed in a lesson, we're going to make a point to give you feedback on your directions. And in part, my hope is, is that you're realizing like, oh, yeah, this is some stuff I was doing in school. Um, I haven't been doing as much in the Zoom room. And I think, again, really wanting to, to, to find things in our observations of your classrooms that are then transferable over to, to this new reality. Um, one of the things we're going to ask you to do today um, is... Uh, before you go, um, is to uh, Betsy's going to share a Google Doc with you, and we're going to ask you to just put into the Google Doc where um, we can find your lesson plans. Um, one of the things that we want to make sure um, there are many reasons um, uh, for us to be able to support you around this, but also around learning support that they know where to find your lessons. Um, so that they can so that they can make sure that they're planning. Um, there there are other reasons I'm not you know that I, that that I know you're already aware of, but um, we want to make sure that we're that we're we're able to find the lesson plans to support you. Um, if they're just in Google Classroom, um, can you just um, put that in there? And then also wherever we're finding them, just put the just put in the link. Um, once you are, once we have that into the Google Doc, we'll just give you a thumbs up, um, and then we'll see you, to, see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Thanks for everybody for working so hard today. I really appreciate it. I hope that you're able to take this and use this on your classes on Monday. 